Hey, Philip. Oh, hey, Kevin. How's it going today? Good. I was just taking a look at your machine, and I was wondering, what are these red things right here? So those are light curtains. Love to ask you some questions about it. Okay. You want to know what a light curtain is in general? Yeah, what, what's going on here? So they are a light curtain uh, used for personnel protection when an uh, operator is interfacing our machine. So typically you would have hard guarding around the machine. A light curtain is something we can use in place of that just to create us a virtual fence there so if someone were to break that plane, they could tell the machine to shut down in a safe manner. Looking at the face of the device, you'll notice these little kind of LED eyes here. Mm -hmm. That's the LED beams coming across. So basically there's 14 millimeters between the beams mm -hmm. or 30 millimeters between the beams. And again, that's set up to determine if it's hand detection, finger detection, uh, or arm or full body access. So these are more for personnel safety rather than just uh, machine safety. That is correct. Okay. Uh, are there different versions of this? These are our 450LE light curtains, but Rockwell offers a 450LB, which is a more basic design. Traditional light curtains, you have a emitter and receiver. These are a little bit different because they have the plug-in modules that plug into the back of them so that I can tell it which stick is a emitter or receiver. These are the 450LEs that we have here. Ooh, fancy. With the 450LE, we give the ability to do muting. Basically, I can tell it to ignore an object that's passing through the field at certain times, or I can do blanking. I can blank out a portion of the light curtain, a couple of these beams. Fixed blanking, which you block just a portion of the light curtain itself, mm -hmm. or you can have floating blanking, where you can have one beam that moves up and down. And then also within this, you get the built-in laser alignment tools, which is a, a big aid, because typically light curtains are traditionally very hard to align mm -hmm. uh, and keep lined up, because operators like to bump into things. With the, mm. the laser alignment tools, it gives you the way to realign these very quickly and easily. For an operator can even do it, or a maintenance personnel can even do it to minimize your downtime. Well, if it's that easy, could we demonstrate that? Yeah, sure. So if we look on these units on the face of the device, it's got a little indicator here that looks like a finger pointing to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put your finger over that, and that turns it on. That's the optical button. Yeah, yeah, it does turn it on. Yeah, I found, a, I found it. So then if you turn around and set them down on the, the table, just to give us a steady rest, you'll notice you line these laser dots up down the side of the product. There you are. Hey, we're aligned. So now if I stick my hand in the middle here, it just kind of turns the lights on and off, That's indicating great. some sort of movement in the middle. So what you're seeing from the LED standpoint, you'll notice whether it's blocking, something's blocking the bottom half of the curtain or the top half of the curtain. Okay. And then again, you'll see the output light, which would be going back to our safety processor or our safety relay, telling us what our output of our light curtains is doing, whether oh, it's okay. on or off. So these send some pretty detailed information back to a computer that we can pull information from. That's correct. Okay. What are the main applications to this? Like, where would you find this in a factory? A lot of times those, you'll have them mounted at the point of operation. So where a operator either goes in and out of a robotic cell or has to interface with the machine. Maybe he's sticking his hand in and out of a machine. For ergonomic reasons, you don't want a fixed guard there that they have to open and close. You could go to something like this where they don't have to physically remove the barrier each time. So this is used for something that is constantly moving. You're not shutting the machine down to, to adjust something or move a product or something. It's something to continuously use the machine but still keep the safety for the operators. That's correct, because if they're in there multiple times a day, 24 hours a day, obviously a mechanical device would have more failures and wear out, whereas these, they're not gonna have to remove anything or move anything. Can I see it in action? Sure. So this is our demo machine that we put together. What we're doing is inspecting these plates, basically to ensure that an operator doesn't get their hand into our rotating part here or our moving carriage. So if I pl place this plate onto the carriage, we're mounted just above the plate so the plate can pass under the light curtains and it's to ensure that my hand doesn't get in there to that hazard. So let's say I'm putting it in here and I just go a little too far and yeah, I kicked it. So my fingers are not wrapped around that soft 
little piece of equipment right here. Yeah, in our case we're using a soft brush, but in the real world industrial applications you may have a larger hazard that you're trying to avoid to keep people out of. Well Kevin, thank you for explaining how a light curtain works and how it saves my fingertips from soft rollers or in the real life would probably save some lives or some downtime for a factory. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, glad to be assistance. That's kind of what we're here for. Feel free to reach out if you got any questions. Thank you.